What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question four in the math three release questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question is asking us to find out which expression is equivalent to this quadratic divided by this quadratic. I'll go over why I have this here in a second, but the big skill that this is testing is your ability to divide polynomials using long division. So the reason why I have nine divided by four written here is to actually show how we're gonna do a long division problem and how we're gonna write the answer. And I'm using numbers here in order to extend those ideas to these quadratics. So first, what is nine divided by four? Well, the big question there is how many times does four fit into nine? That's two times. And I'm gonna subtract under here four times two, which is eight, and that leaves me one. So I would say either two remainder one or two and one fourth. Uh, the one fourth comes from my remainder divided by my divisor. Now I'm going to use the ex almost the exact same process with quadratics. There's going to be a couple tweaks that I'll need to go over. Um, and of course it's polynomial, so it's going to be super, super tricky. But essentially, if I'm trying to figure out x squared minus 2x minus 37 divided by x squared minus 3x minus 40, I'll start by writing it in the exact same way that I wrote 9 divided by 4. x squared minus 2x minus 37 divided by x squared minus 3x minus 40. All right. So now, my next question is, how many times can this quadratic fit into this one? And the big question here is to see how many times the lead coefficient of our divisor can go into the lead coefficient of our dividend inside the box. So essentially this is one and this is one. How many times can one go into one? That's probably the trickiest part of this whole thing, figuring out how many times our divisor can go into our dividend, how many times one x squared minus three x minus 40 can go into one x squared minus two x minus 37. In polynomial language, we just say that it's the number of times this lead coefficient can go into this one and that's just one. So one. Unfortunately, all our answers have one already, so that doesn't really help us. So let's go ahead and subtract that one time that this polynomial can go into this one. So we're subtracting x squared minus 3x minus 40. So x squared minus x squared is just nothing. And now negative 2x minus negative 3x, I'm first going to go ahead and say that because this is a negative sign, if I distribute this negative sign to negative 3x, it'll become positive 3x. Negative 2x plus 3x is 1x, or just x. And I'll do the same thing for negative 40. I'll take that negative sign, and I will change this from negative to positive. Negative 37 plus 40 gives us positive 3. Whoops, I just realized you couldn't see that. Negative 2x plus 3x is 1x. Negative 37 plus 40 is 3. So here's my remainder. And here's the number of times my divisor can actually go into my dividend. So now I need to actually write this in the same language that I wrote 2 plus 1 fourth. So that's 1 plus, and remember my remainder goes over what I had originally divided by. So this is x plus 3 all divided by x squared minus 3x minus 40. Now I look at my answer choices for an answer that matches that, and it's actually going to be choice A. 1 plus x plus 3 divided by x squared minus 3x minus 40. Here's all the work that we did for this question so that you can see exactly what was happening. Screenshot this, take notes, whatever. Use it however you need to.